this thing on? Is this thing on? What? Oh, I love this place. I love this guy. I love, I love a lot of people here, actually. Uh, well, uh, I had this problem with a kid. I have two two uh, phrases. I had this problem with a kid, and I teach middle school, so that's enough in itself there. But uh, I teach middle school, and there's this one kid that's really like rebellious and uh, uh, loud, and he would like, do crazy things and. Uh, I wrote him up a bunch of times, and, and uh, finally uh, he got to the point where he, I let him off a few times, he, was, he plays football, and so uh, he came like one time and said, I'll do better, you know, and I said, don't do this because I won't be able to play football, so okay. So then he was, he was good for like three days, so then he was terrible again, and so, so finally, you know, he just he went, went away for two days to uh, this in-school suspension thing, and uh, so, uh, so during that, uh, I kind of learned that I, if you, uh, it's a good time to go talk to them. And uh, I didn't know what to do with him really because he was, uh, it was just hard to manage. And so I tried, you know, he, he wasn't he was disrespectful and he was like, wouldn't do what I said and all this. And so, so I went to the wisest man I know. That's the idea. And, uh, he, he uh, gave me some advice that I never would have thought of. Uh, he told me to uh, tell him, you know, because there's like a week or two there where we, he was, we were doing really good. You know, he was doing really good. And so I, I, so I hum, kind of humbled myself. I went into the ISS room and said, hey, you know, and I gave him some work to do. And I said, hey, you want to, uh, hey, man, uh, uh, Think about it. If it's anything, you know, we had we got along really good for about a certain a month, maybe or three weeks. And uh, if there's anything I can do for us to be friends again, think about it and see if uh, you can think of something. And he, instead of like cussing me out, he like like he just like nodded. Like, so that's better than you know. <laughs> so well, that's a success right there. You know? So so uh, so we came back and uh, I treated him like. Nothing was wrong, and uh, he's been great. He's been like the number. He's been. He still is kind of crazy, but he, he's the best helper, and he's you know has a like an A now, and, and, and you know we get along, and he'll do anything I say, you know. And it's this. This is like a word of knowledge. What this was. So that was a praise. So last week, uh, one other quick thing. Uh, uh, I had this fedora, my favorite fedora. I lost them for a while because my cleaning lady <laughs> put them in the closet and I found them. And so I wore this fedora because it was hat day, and so I wore it up here last week. And so, uh, but you know, I wore it all day, and all the kids loved it. You know, they didn't, and so and it was good. And uh, so I wore it out, and then I was putting my stuff in the car, and I put it on top of my roof of my car in the parking lot. And drove off. And somebody was honking at me, like, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, but like, there's a well, hat flying, you know. So I'm like, so then I didn't realize it. And I said, "Where am I hat at? I better get my hat because I don't wear it in here." So, so I looked around. I couldn't find my hat anywhere. So I'm like, "Oh, great!" And I'm up on 31 over here. You know, coming towards, you know, Kilgore. So, uh, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go back see if I can find it. You know, see if there's any. See if there's any chance I can find it. So I drove all the way back and I looked at the parking lot and there was no hat there. So I said, I'm going to go in the parking lot anyway. So I drive through there. Here's this little kid that's half with my hat. One of my hat with my hat. I said, hey, you know, so I just drove, drove up to the parking lot and said, hey, you know, he handed me my hat and I put it on, you know. And he asked me that I could do, I could do this all night, but I got this. He wanted to. Uh, my, uh, my, uh, I have this, I guess I must have the story real quick. <laughs> okay, so, so, uh, I saw this meme on Facebook about this, uh, this line that somebody wrote Gary on, and so, uh, I thought that'd be funny to put, write that on a line and put it on my desk and see if the kids noticed, you know? So I did that, you know, and I wrote Gary on it, and I just set it over there, and I was teaching and 
They go, hey, you know, what's that thing on your desk? And I said, oh, that's Gary. He's my old roommate from college. He's just here for the weekend. And I just kept on talking, you know. They're like, what, what is that, you know? And so, so, uh, so I'd make him say goodbye to him every day. Like, say goodbye to Gary, you know. First day, I had to say goodbye to him. So I next day, I said, hey, you know, I called him out in the hall. I said, hey, Gary, you know, you didn't say goodbye to Gary. He's really well, you know, he's already, you know, having trouble. So, 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 they, I mean, so they got used to Gary. He said, hey, Gary, you know, all that. And he's just a lion, you know, sitting there. And so one kid brought a lemon in, or he was actually, he brought a, a lion in. This is actually a lemon. I'm sorry. Gary was a lemon. But this guy brought this lion in, and he put Linda on it. So he took it by my lot, by the lemon. And so, so anyway, uh, we had a we had a uh, we had a marriage uh, Wednesday, and uh, it's, it's hilarious. It's the most hilarious thing you've ever seen. But this kid was asking me, you know, hey, what was the name of that limp, that lion? Because I have to make him write a backstory along with wedding invitations and stuff. I teach Microsoft Office, so I use it as a teaching thing. So, yeah, but he was, I was, he was asking what the name of the line was for his story, you know, when he had my hat. So, that's about all I got. <laughs>